Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. Today is our message for Sunday, April 28th, 2024. I am recording it on April 24th, 2024. And it has significance because we're still in Mercury retrograde, even though it ends tomorrow, the 25th. And when you have an ending, there's always the shadow period. So that's another week or two. You still might be feeling it. And with anything energetic, there's still extra energy that's lagging behind until the energies integrate and balance out. Obviously, that is not something that you can see or feel on a tangible level, but in the quantum energy, that's how it basically works. And I'm trying to just make it very simple for you guys. So because of that, and I'm sharing all of this with you because... It seems like for the past two weeks when I've tried to do a message for the weekly, I have to keep re-recording it. And it wasn't flowing, so I stopped. I'm coming back to it right now. All of the cards are already pulled out. But it's necessary for me to share it in this way for you guys because I want you to understand where we're coming from. So I'm still in Mercury Retrograde recording this. Yesterday was a full moon in Scorpio, very intense energies. We're coming off of the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. And basically what that means is there's expansion and shakeups happening all around us. Everything is personal as well as collective. And so we have a lot of cards here. I pulled the first three cards. And then I wanted a fourth card to just kind of bring it all together. And instead, one, two, three, four, five, six cards flew out. So we have six main themes going on. And I think we need to address those first before we go into the first three cards. And so the six cards that come out, I wanted like a, a foundational message to help you with the cards one, two, and three. And it's a strong and a deep message, and I'm not surprised because yesterday was the full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is a very deep, the deepest probably of all the astrological signs. So we really are going into a lot here that I need to share with you. Remember, from the end of March till now, we have had a lot of intense energies. Whether it, you have felt that in yourself, whether you have felt a shift in your energetic field, in your world, in things that are going on in your life, or what you're seeing on the world stage, a lot of things have been shook up, whether it's for you, whether it's for others. For an example, just to give you an example, I have felt a shift within my own personal energy, an elevation it's not something tangible. It's not a change that specifically happened that I can touch or point my finger to. I just feel it. And so you may not have actually experienced this big, crazy thing in your life, but you may feel slightly different or you may have had like a shift or an aha moment or like you weren't sure about something, but now you're very crystal clear on it. It's going to affect everybody differently. But the energies came in, all of them combined this past month to do a doozy for us, but to really help us in the long run to help and serve us. And so the first card that's coming up is that, actually, I'm going to use this card first. The first card that I'm going to share with you is that we are right now in an impasse, okay? Okay. And the reason why we're in this energy, remember, it's Mercury retrograde, so that makes sense. It's because we are reflecting and redirecting our energy. It's necessary for us to do that. You have to pull back and actually, for the people that chose card number one, you have to pull back and rest. And it says, lie back, rest, and relax, okay? So we have been in this energy for a while and if you chose card number one, you're really needing to continue that, even if the retrograde is over. You still need to pull back a bit and still redirect your energy. It takes everybody a different amount of time to do that. If you're someone that is constantly on the go, you're really being asked to slow down because the earth is changing. You may not physically 
understand that like what do you mean the earth's the same but the energy within the earth is shifting and changing so it may take you a little longer to actually redirect your energy so give yourself the time and the space that you need to do that don't get mad at yourself if you're not at the same pace that you usually are getting all your things done it's totally okay this is the way it's supposed to be for your energetic body a lot of light is coming in and it's necessary because the light is clearing first it's bringing to light any darkness within and then it's helping you to hopefully clear it work through it and clear it and it's going to take everybody different times to do so but energetically as a consciousness, the first card that came out was this card. It's time for us to reflect so we can redirect our energy. What does that mean? What was working for you? What things are not working for you? What changes need to be made? You know the saying, what is the saying? Um, if you do the same thing many times and expect the definition of insanity is doing the same thing many, 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 many times and expecting different results. Obviously, it's not going to happen. So you're asked to slow down, pull back because you need to figure it out differently. Maybe it's how you're looking at a situation simply. And that might take you time to really have a different perspective to the situation. But the second card is that this is all happening because we are breaking ground. We have a breakthrough coming through. Again, individual for everybody. But with Jupiter and Uranus on April 20th having this conjunction, that's the whole purpose of it, is to actually shake things up so that you can really, you have no choice, you gotta look at it. You have no choice. It's in your face, it crumbled, it exploded, whatever happened, and you had to say, I gotta make a change. I have to do it. Nothing that I'm doing has been working. I've been doing the same thing over and over again. I have to make a shift. I have to make a change. That could be within your mind. That could be how you look at something. That could be the talk, the self-talk, the self-judgment that you have going on internally. For everybody, it's going to be different. But on an energetic level, if we're looking at a level playing field, the message across the board is it's happening because you have a breakthrough coming towards you, okay? That's why you need to reflect and redirect your energy. A new cycle is beginning. And there's a lot of light in that card, sunlight. And there has been a lot of light entering this earth. Get the app, Human Resonance. I've talked about it this whole month. And you'll notice that there is a lot of white light coming in. Perhaps, you know, in the Bible, it says the second coming of Christ. Maybe it wasn't showing up that he was coming as a human, but maybe the light is actually coming into the earth to help us. It could show up in a different way than what we actually thought it was going to be for those that think that. And that goes back to this. This breakthrough, changing perspective, changing the way you see things. Maybe you always thought it was going to be him landing on earth. Woo, here I am. And maybe that's not the way it is. Maybe actually what it is is light. More light is coming into the earth. Okay? So that's an example of thinking something's going to happen a certain way. And maybe all along that perspective was incorrect. Take that message and where does that resonate in your life? We have to change the way we look at things because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. The only way this is going to happen is if we actually start to make the change. Here's the next one. You got to take the first step. Begin now. Beginning a new cycle, take the first step. Okay? It is important for you to take the first step in whatever direction it is that you are going. Do you need to take the first step to stop berating yourself because you need more rest? Do you need to take the first step in actually changing something within your life? Whatever it is for you, begin now. Take the first step, okay? 
Coming back to exactly what we have been talking about, changing perspectives, another way of looking at this is this way. Expand your horizons. Expansion. Jupiter is all about expansion. Expanding the mind. Expanding your dreams and your visions for yourself. Expanding your perspective. It can show up in many different ways for everyone. But this is another energy that has been coming in for us. Vast vistas expand your horizon. See things from a different viewpoint. Want to know why this is all happening? This is our sixth card that flew out. Because we are all stepping into our actual God-given power. Well, I should say this. We are being given the opportunity to stand into our God-given power. So much light has been entering us. So much light has been entering any darkness within or outside of us to show us what's really happening so that we can make the change. So that we, you're not going to believe it, but my phone shut me off again. This is unbelievable what the energy is trying to do. It does not want you to hear this message. It does not want you to know that you have the ability to do what we're talking about for yourself today. It is insane. So just to finish, I want to go through the last two cards. So we talked about the main, main foundational message behind the reading today. Remember, if you chose card number one, you really are being asked to lie back, to relax, to take time to daydream also. Don't just go, 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 go all day long to burn out. You're going to burn out if you don't really start to take the time to rest and recuperate. The people who chose card number two, you've done that part of it. But now the time is now to answer the call. What are you being called to do at this time? What change, directional change, are you being called to make at this time? What message keeps coming your way? What are the angels showing you at this time? Do they keep showing you an angel number? Do they keep showing you an animal? You know, if you see a deer, deer represents be very gentle with yourself. Do you keep hearing a song and there's a message within that song? What message are you receiving over and over again to walk through the portal of light that has entered us in the last month to answer the call. The third card, people. You've done the resting. You're still doing it. You're okay with it. You know that the time is now to answer some call and you're working on it. Your job is to hold course because maybe something came in and rocked your world. Maybe something came in and made you think or doubt that you're doing the right thing. Your job, stay focused, hold the course. You are on the right path. So make sure that you keep going in the direction that you're being guided to go in because it's the right one. And to finalize this message, we're going to pull one final card. And as you can see, I'm very stubborn and they can keep trying, but I'm going to keep doing the message. We are opening ourselves up to spirit. You are being asked to open yourself up more and more and more to spirit. You're listening to this and maybe it brings you comfort. You're listening to this and maybe you dabble in it. Whatever it is for you, you're listening to this and you believe in it 100%. It's time to go deeper. It's time to do more. It's time to connect further to your inner sanctuary, which is where spirit connects with you. I hope that this message helps you guys. We're on the right path. Keep going. Have a great week and we'll speak soon. Bye-bye.